All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one will be doing a video review for The Walking Dead issue 100, which was released today. Today is July 11th, uh, Wednesday, uh, 2012. Uh, this will not contain spoilers. I'm um, not going to say who dies in this issue uh, or talk about, um, I might talk about, you know, what happens, but I'm not going to talk about specifically which characters. So you don't have to worry about that. It's not going to spoil uh, the main character death for you. Now, I will say right off the bat that I thought, if you guys watched my predictions video, that this would be more of a bloodbath, seeing as how it's uh, issue 100. Um, we actually didn't get to see uh, too many character deaths, just one, really. Uh, although it was a big one, it was obviously an A-list character, and uh, I was wrong with my predictions entirely. <laughs> I'm completely wrong. I was assuming it was going to be like a big battle scene, and you know all these different you know things were going to happen, but um, didn't end up going that way. Now that being said, that's okay. I mean, it was still uh, absolutely you know exciting and exhilarating and thrilling. It was just. Man, for half of the, the book as I was reading it, my job was just on the floor. I was just like, oh my gosh. You know, um, we get to see the reveal of the leader of the Saviors, which uh, whose name is Negan. And it is actually um, one person, so to speak, or a guy, so to speak. It's not, you know, it's not some kind of like way they refer to themselves, you know, indirectly and this kind of stuff. Uh, and it actually turns out to be the, the guy on the cover. <laughs> Which is uh, which is funny, uh, but you can't see his face. Of course, you just see his back. Uh, also, some of the uh, sort of like um, teasers to 100 being released were that Lucille is coming, and it's it's funny to me that Lucille is actually what he named his bat. <laughs> um, you know, like he names he's got this bat with barbed wire around it, baseball bat with barbed, and he gives it a name he calls it Lucille, and uh, and refers to it as a her, like she's thirsty, yada yada yada, all this stuff. And, uh, you know, he's just kind of like a bigger guy. He's, uh, he looks like he's probably in his, his uh, maybe 30s somewhere, you know. Um, he actually kind of looks a little bit like Shane, a little bit. You know, just, um, you know, kind of got a wider, well, can I say a wider jaw? I mean, I guess so. Um, kind of. Although, obviously, he's, uh, he's nowhere near as forgiving as uh, someone like Shane or as nice. You know, it seems like he, as a character in his group, have just been basically surviving on other groups and basically, um, you know, forcing them to give half of what they have to them. And we sort of, in this uh, issue, find out why the Hilltop was so scared of these guys. And also, at the same time, um, you know, why Rick has really gotten them into a really bad situation, maybe the worst he's ever gotten any group into before by, you know, challenging and fighting back against uh, against the group. Because in this issue, we find out, like I said in the past reviews, we don't know how many men Negan has. But here we figure out that he's at least got 50 with him in this issue. And he probably has somewhere around 100, uh, probably. Uh, or at least at first he did, and now they've a lot of them have been killed off. But he's got, like, different little groups, all, you know, and then his main group, which is, like, 50 guys. Um Man, it is just such an exciting issue. You, you see, um, should I go through the synopsis? I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Well, I don't want to give away too many details. Um, so, you know, basically we get to meet the Negan character, and there's a major death in, in this issue, and I won't say who. Uh, also, to anybody writing comments, um, if you see someone else who mentions the name of the person, flag it for spam. I expect everybody to do that. And if I see it, and, you know, in time, I will remove it, because I don't want people to know and spoil the issue for them. Um, but, you know, actually the character death, uh, to talk about it in particular, I, uh, I didn't like at all. It was just really cruel, you know, <laughs> like it was, I mean, that's the thing about the villains in, in The Walking Dead, like with the governor, same thing. I did a top 10 favorite villains list. And a lot of people were like, why didn't you put the governor on there? And it's because they're so evil and so cruel that I can't like them. Uh, now I like Negan more than I like the governor, uh, a lot more. I think that he's uh, a lot more interesting and funny in the way he swears so much. Like, I can't swear on YouTube, but he says the F word all the time, like F and this. And, and at, at one point he says, holy effing, uh, or holy F, effing, effedly, F out. So he says the F word four times to say one thing. And he just constantly does that. And, um, I mean, this was just a su super exciting issue. Um uh, like I said, it wasn't the bloodbath I was expecting, but it was still really exciting to get to see the introduction of this new character. And really cool how, you know, it was kind of around there all the time and just you wouldn't have known, like, 
he he's on the cover of the damn issue, and that's the that's the leader. But there's no way you would know because they showed the other guys before, like the guy with the chainsaw was one of his guys, and he's just got all these like these guys, and it's like, how are they going to fight back against him? You know, Rick threatening that he's going to kill him and all that, and but how is he going to do it? Like he doesn't have enough guys, you know, uh, to really fight back against him. There's like a bug in here or something. Um, so you know, it's just. Man, so exciting. Anyway, in terms of score, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought about it. The character death in particular, the splash, the splash page at the end, I was like, oh, man. It was just, um, I don't know. I didn't like it. Uh, you know, I, di I didn't like it. I don't know why. Uh, I like to see, you know, exciting character deaths and that kind of stuff. But there are certain characters I like to think that should be off limits. And he was kind of one of them, you know, because he's been around for, for so long and all that. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be uh, indirect here so I don't give, uh, you know, give away who it could be. Um, yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Um, wow, you know. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you got to have the villain be introduced. And I do like Negan's character a lot more than the governor. I think he's very interesting. I like the fact that he's got so many guys. Like, oh, man, very exciting. Can't wait to see what happens in 101. But uh, issue 100 definitely paid off. I loved it. Thought it was great. Um, can't wait to read the rest of Something to Fear. This was Something to Fear Part 4. So, you know, we'll, we'll still have part five and part six, so it should be exciting, really exciting going forward. Um, and, you know, give us another key villain in The Walking Dead, because we haven't really had one since the governor have a big, you know, main central villain character. And this guy is like, man, so threatening, like even more so than the governor would have been. And I also like, too, how a lot of his men, they don't all use guns. They A lot of them use, like, you know, just whatever weapons, and they're everybody's terrified of him and stuff, and... It was pretty awesome. It was awesome. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about it. No spoilers. See you guys. Peace.